The Bible tells us about food being medicine for our bones and about how everything that is living is be good for you. So it's a sub, it's, and now we are becoming where we're creating foods and chemicals and so many of us are becoming sick. Today's um, episode is going to be about this, lemons. And they're coming, they're in season. I'll show you, you'll see my lemon tree. They're in season. The benefits of what lemon can do for you. Did you know that lemon has vitamin C, a folic acid in it with vitamin B in it, which helps to absorb the body and alkalizes the body. So even though it's an acid, it's acidic, but the pH acid, once it's digested, creates an alkaline in your body. So it's about let food be thy medicine. And today, as you know, the winter's coming in, it's starting to get really, really cold and so many people are getting sick. This is helps your immune system. So having lemon every day into your diet, into your well-being, creates like a shield, shield, and that shield protects your body from getting sick. It, lemon, do you believe that lemon helps to pre prevent kidney stones? It helps to um, prevent types of cancer as well. It's good for your gut. It alkalizes your gut. So, so many of us, my husband's diabetic and he doesn't like vinegar, but vinegar is acid. And so when you've got too much acid already in your body, um, you're more acidic and you feel your, your gut doesn't feel right. So what neutralizes it is lemon. So vinegar or lemon. So many people love to have vinegar in their uh, dressing. I don't because Marco's a diabetic and he doesn't like vinegar, but guess what? Lemon balances the insulin level in your body. It reduces the sugars and reduces it down because it alkalizes your body. Once it alkalizes your body, you, you can have, you don't, you can't, have too much alkaline because then it's you're out of whack you need the acid and the alkaline so you need that balance but the alkaline prevents diseases yeah so if you have a squidge of lemon juice in the morning and you put it in some warm water and you put a little squidge of lemon if you want to put a dash of cayenne pepper in it where we got so you can see cayenne pepper cayenne pepper in it cayenne pepper is very very good for you uh i did a, a thing on 101 ways to transform the way you cook and i talk about cayenne versus pepper but cayenne i was listening to barbara o'neill she's a nutritionist and she, there was a lady who had having a heart attack now, some people that have had heart attacks, they, the doctors put them on um, Dysprin. My husband's on Dysprin as well. But if you tap, have a teaspoon of cayenne pepper a day, it reduces, it opens up the heart capillaries, it opens up your digestive system, and it loosens the blood. So if this lady was having a heart attack, she gave her a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and while she was having it, she gave her a little bit of water and all of a sudden she came back. She was losing her pulse, losing, she was nearly dying. What a way. I put it in my food. I have a little elixir I do in the morning and I put a squidge of lemon, half a lemon, um, some, uh, a teaspoon, a tablespoon of virgin olive oil. So a tablespoon of virgin olive oil half a lemon, a shake of cayenne pepper, and a little bit of warm water. That's my elixir. 
Do you know what that does to my gut? It alkalizes it. So that's absorbing it, right? So now we talk, I want to talk to you about in your foods. If you put lemon um, in your dressing and you put, if you like, if you like it with olive oil and lemon, it's wonderful. It's so delicious. It actually opens up your appetite. You feel like eating. But if you put lemon even in your foods, uh, you squeeze. I have some this schnitzels. I love my schnitzels, so I love to put lemon heaps, especially when they're pork schnitzels. Oh my god, it's so delicious. I squeeze lemon on it. If I'm making a mayonnaise dressing, I will add lemon in it. Whatever I'm doing, lemon is for me because I don't um I stopped having coffee and I'll give you a testimony of having coffee. I had so much acid in my system. I could feel it. My gut felt like shit. Just I, just terrible. I always have a gut ache. I haven't had coffee for a year and a half. In a year and a half, it took about eight months for my body to realign itself, readjust itself. In the meantime, I was having the apple cider vinegar in the morning. I did that for quite a while, then I stopped because uh, it wasn't doing what I, I thought it should. So I started having the half a, half a lemon, a tablespoon of vir, uh, virgin olive oil, and the cayenne pepper, a little bit of warm water, stir it, and just drank that. And I felt that that gave me. So what it does is it actually warms your body. If you want, you can actually put ginger. Grate some ginger in there as well. Especially this time of the year, ginger is the best pre to prevent uh, colds and flus and diseases that are coming through. It's like a bomb. A real bomb, bomb in your body, you know. Like grate a little bit of ginger, squeeze the lemon, virgin olive oil, cane pepper, a little bit of uh, warm water just to digest it, dilute it, and then fine. It is absolutely the epitome of medicine. It is literally let food be thy medicine. Lemons. Who would think that God created lemons? But lemon is a healing agent. It has so much vitamins in it. Read up on it. Do some research and you'll find that vinegar is high in acid. We've got too much acid in our system today because we just quick fix, you know, like to salad dressings. We have already those ones that are already made. They've got vinegar in them. You know, they haven't got lemons. Get yourself a lemon tree. Have a look at my lemon tree. It's absolutely wonderful. This is what I really wanted to emphasize. Just a short video on the benefits of what lemon can do by you putting it into your everyday, implementing it. It is the shield. The shield of diseases, vitamin C, and have plenty of lemon and have like plenty of oranges. Well, oranges are great for you at this time of the year. They're also coming into season. They're very sweet. They're very nice. You know, as the autumn and the winter comes, they are wonderful healing agents about how food is our medicine. And that's important. And not a quick fix, fix on tablets, but implementing real raw foods. So it's an acid, but yet once it's digested, the pH levels balance and alkalize our body. Wonderful to know that. I thought you'd like to know. You have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.